Are you gassed for this? Am I gassed? Of course, of course. Uh, you know, I mean, we've got Elton John performing tonight. <laughs> well, I mean, why, what isn't there to be gassed about? <laughs> we know that your character on Desperate Housewives has been through just about everything. Do you have any clue what season up next brings? Oh, I have no idea. I mean, I don't even know episode to episode uh, what's in store for me. So, you know, it's, it's almost as much of a surprise to me as it is to all of you. Uh, this, this is a foundation that's obviously, uh, it's, it's pretty personal for me. My whole life is, is music, so the fact that they're restoring people's hearing and, and, and fitting people in third world countries around the world, you know, to, to restore their hearing, you know, I'm, I, it couldn't be a better foundation to be a part of. Thank you, sir. And, uh, you know, uh, we've seen a lot of you in the last two weeks because you were training Michael Jackson. You know, the footage that we see of him just, you know, days before his passing, really amazing. That must have been as big a shock to you as it was to all of us. Well, it was, but he's been great shape when I showed him. I don't know what happened the last month. Apparently, I've been training him for the last month. But, you know, I think he's too far to get up because he's from the set. And we won't know exactly what exactly what happened. But I know Michael. Yeah. I think I know his connection. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's a sad bit of news. But good news for you. Terrific performance. And I love you, man. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. You're a longtime friend of Bill Austin and this organization. <coughs> Many years. Terrific. Yeah, much more interesting. Thank you. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're not necessarily going to hit as many good shots. We don't like both. We just have fun. The, the, the format uh, eases the pressure for us. You know, there's not so much pressure. So uh, we had a lot of laughs and a lot of good times, and, and uh, I should look forward to next year uh, coming again. Thank you for being here. Johnny Jack. Uh, what brings you to the Starkey Foundation? Man? I just think it's a great cause. Um, I love that they go all around the world helping people that uh, have a hearing disability. And um, I think anybody that you can help draw attention to to that, I think, um, should do it. <laughs> Must be a great joy to have somebody outfitted and hearing you for the first time. Uh, would you like to go on one of those missions with Joe Austin? Oh, I would love to. And what's really good about today and yesterday is uh, my father right here, uh, he just got fitted for ear aids. So it's his first time. And um, you know, I, I like it because I don't have to repeat myself. <laughs> What's his assessment? What's the first thing he said about the new sound? Um, he's still hearing different things. Um, he loves it. Uh, and I, I think he'll wear it all the time, I hope. Um, but saying that he can like hear things better. What's next for you on the entertainment front? Um, I just did a film last year called The Imaginarium with Dr. Parnassus. Um, it's a, a Terry Gilliam film, kind of fantasy. Uh, meets real world. Uh, the late Heath Ledger, Johnny Depp, Colin Farrell, Jim Vaughn, Christopher Plummer. Um, so it's a great cast and, you know, just a, it was great to work on. Well, we're really looking forward to seeing that. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thank you for having me. Is the governor Oh, that... Um, you are moving, you're, you're focusing on Washington DC on our behalf in Minnesota. But um, so far, I'm